Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. So for all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so everybody's been hitting me up, wanting me to talk about the whole Eminem album. So if you guys don't know, on Friday the 31st, Eminem dropped his new album, Kamikaze. And when I tell you it set the internet ablaze, it set the internet ablaze, okay? Not only in this album, he's dropping so many different tracks and he's going at multiple artists. He's caught out everybody from Drake to Lil Pump. Uh, Little Yachty, Charlemagne the God, DJ Academics, Donald Trump, Machine Gun Kelly. He went in on so many rappers, okay? So everybody's been talking about this. And a lot of folks were trying to see, you know, is any rapper going to respond? Is anybody going to say anything? And then today, Machine Gun Kelly, who's a white rapper, if you guys don't know who he is, he's been in the game for a few years now. He decided to drop a track called The Rap Devil, basically it's a play on Eminem's name. As we all know, many people in hip hop has coined Eminem the rap god. So Machine Gun Kelly's calling himself the rap devil and he goes in on Eminem. This entire situation is crazy. I, I want you guys to go ahead and listen to what Eminem said to Machine Gun Kelly first on a track called Not Alike. Um, he went in on Machine Gun Kelly because back in 2012, Machine Gun Kelly, who has always given Eminem props, that he looked up to Eminem, Eminem was one of his idols. He basically saw a picture of Haley, Eminem's daughter, and he said that she was fine as fuck. Here goes the tweet right here. And Eminem was not here for it. He was really pissed off. And then supposedly after that tweet went viral, Eminem got uh, Machine Gun Kelly banned from Shade 4 or 5. And Machine Gun Kelly's been talking about this and he's been telling folks, you know, Eminem is basically trying to blackball him in the industry. And so he's really upset about that. So he's been putting out music lately, you know, throwing subliminal disses. And so Eminem is calling him out for that in the song Not Alike. And then Machine Gun Kelly responds in the song Rap God, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and listen to both of these snippets. I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> Honey. Okay, so this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? So anyways, as you guys all know, I love me some Eminem. I am a fan of Eminem, but I've always kept it real, and I've been telling y'all for a while that to me, in my personal opinion, this is not the same Eminem of yesteryear, and a lot of his freestyles he's been coming out with, like he did the BET Cypher, and you know, just even the song that he did with Nicki Minaj, I'm just not feeling his style of rap. I honestly feel like the last Eminem album that I really love, that I rock with from start to finish, there were so many good songs on there, was The Recovery. And since then, I just have not been feeling his new music. That's my personal opinion, honey. And if Eminem feels the need to drag me, bitch, I'm here for it. Drag me too, damn it! Anyhow, so the reason why I'm making this video is because it was like a really good conversation on Instagram. Because when I posted this, I was telling folks that I find it funny that Machine Gun Kelly is like really one of like the first artists besides like Ja Rule and stuff like that like way back then to come out and basically go at Eminem toe to toe. And I don't care if you don't feel like he's, you know, as good as an artist as Eminem or if he's as lyrical, at least he called him out. You know, I feel like a lot of these other rappers, a lot of these black rappers, I feel like they're really scared of Eminem besides Lord Jamar he said you know his piece on Eminem Joe Button has said his piece but that's just them talking and doing commentary they're not going in the studio they're not making an Eminem diss track like you know the commentary is okay but I want to hear bars okay so my personal opinion I honestly feel like Machine Gun Kelly did just that you know what I'm saying he brought the real he, he got everything off his chest and he's like you know what you're not a god to me you're just a rapper and I'm gonna call you out just like I would anybody else and I feel like a lot of these big rappers you know they've made excuses for M and they're scared to go at M toe to toe which is funny because these same rappers have no problem you know what I'm saying going at other black rappers rapping about killing other black men disrespecting black women but when it comes to Eminem it's like all of these big time rappers who are lyrical in their own right who have skills in their own right who are just as popular they walk on eggshells when it comes to Eminem. And I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some of these video clips of 50 Cent, The Game, Lil Wayne, and even Chris Rock talking about Eminem. Go ahead and check this out. And I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Shin Game, what do you think of recovery? Classic. I love it. Yeah. M's back? M's, I mean, Eminem is Eminem. He's, if you notice in hip-hop, Eminem is the only rapper that 
that nobody ever wants a problem with, including myself, man. Eminem is like the most lyrically insane. Even when I was going at 50 and, you know, and, you know, me and Dre wasn't seeing eye to eye, man. I stayed away from the white dude, you know, because <laughs> he a problem. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Like Eminem, I, I don't think it's a rapper. He won't slay. And you don't even want a war with Eminem. You, you know, he crazy. I'm not M. See, hip hop is black music without question. And unfortunately for some people, it's tough to accept that you got a white artist that does it better than black artists. It is what it is. Now it's a lot of beasts. You got a, a lot of beasts, a lot of the rappers are separated. You can't have 50, ain't nowhere near Ja Rule. You know, you can't have Jay-Z near Nas. Nobody got no beef with Eminem. Ain't no rapper popping nothing about Eminem. Ain't nobody saying nothing. I'm not even going to say nothing bad about Eminem. Because way too much stuff rhymes with rock, all right? But Eminem don't even like his own mama. So Lord knows what he'll say about your black ass, okay? And he's, Eminem's a white rapper. So his record's going to be on every station, the country station, the talk station. The black... Last time we hooked up, talked about Eminem. You saying that you called him, but you ain't returned the call? No, man, I didn't call that man. That's the mix up. Everybody keeps saying that we called him. We never called that man, man. We never called that man. We just we we reached out. We oh, you okay. know, we called the people, you know, and the people said no. You know, he was busy or something, I don't know. No, yo M, you need to make it happen. That's yeah, all I'm saying. Man, I'm I'm alright with the raps. M, you, it's okay. You can get on the song. It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm calling you out. Yes, come on out here. It's okay. I'm not calling you out to diss me, then, cause I can't fuck with you. But I'm just saying, just come do a song, with me, please, with me, please, with three E's. All right, honey. So you guys just saw those videos of the different rappers talking about Eminem and talking about how they would never go against him and he's too lyrical. Even Lil Wayne sings shooketh. You know what I'm saying? This is, he, he's more shook of Eminem and, you know, the possible repercussions of Eminem basically eating his ass up on a track or in a battle than he was when he disrespected Emma Till's legacy. It's like he saw no problem with that. He refused to apologize until the, the sponsor snatched away his sponsorship and everything else. It's like he saw nothing wrong with disrespecting a dead black child. But when it came to Eminem, it's like Lil Wayne did not want any smoke whatsoever. ever. So I find that funny and I stand by what I wrote on Instagram that a lot of these major black rappers are scared of Eminem. They're not trying to go to bat with him toe to toe. You know what I'm saying? Lyrically, the last black rapper that really did that was Ja Rule and we all know how that ended. But you know, like I said, I respect Machine Gun Kelly for coming out and you know, stating his truth and making about rap. That's what rap's about. Eminem called him out you know what I'm saying he did it publicly and Machine Gun Kelly is responding and I feel like he has the right to respond you know what I really think happened with them is this okay first of all when you look at Machine Gun Kelly damn it he looks like a younger version of Eminem he's just taller and skinnier but he literally looks like he could be Eminem's son okay him talking about Haley being fine I don't feel like that was really disrespectful. Even in that tweet, he's saying that, you know, he means no disrespect and Eminem is the rap god. Even in that tweet, Machine Gun Kelly is saying this. He's saying, okay, so I just saw a picture of Eminem's daughter and I have to say she's hot as fuck in the most respectful way possible because M is king. That's all Machine Gun Kelly said. So for Eminem to get that in his feelings, that he got this young man banned off the radio, I feel like it's deeper than that, okay? Because first of all, Eminem, has made songs disrespecting the woman who birthed Haley, okay? He's made songs talking about killing Kim and, you know, doing all types of crazy stuff to Kim, and that was okay. But the second another rapper who happens to be white, who happens to look like you, even the way he raps is kind of styled around Eminem, it's almost like he took that as an excuse to distance himself from Machine Gun Kelly and try to get him blacklisted. And when I see things like that happening... I can't help but to look at it like, you know what? There might be some salt in the game. You might be feeling some type of way. You don't want this young white boy to be your replacement, okay? 
almost like how people are saying that Nicki Minaj is treating Cardi B and not to bring them up, but I'm just using them as an example. And I feel like that's what Eminem did to Machine Gun Kelly, because at that point, a lot of people were comparing the two and saying that he's the new young Eminem, you know, his style, his swag and things like that. And, you know, even in that tweet, that tweet to me was not disrespectful. He's basically giving Eminem his props and also giving his daughter props for being fine. You know what I'm saying? And Eminem's daughter is gorgeous. She's a beautiful girl. You don't hear about her in a bunch of controversy and bullshit. Eminem did not play when it came to raising her. She went to the best of the best schools. She's in college now. Haley's doing her thing. And I feel like Machine Gun Kelly was just giving her props. You know what I'm saying? So what if he cussed? Eminem has literally made songs killing the mother of his child. So I feel like Eminem saw this young man as a replacement for him. And so that's why he felt some type of way. And now he's going at him and he's calling him out. He's dissing him. But to me, like I said, at the end of the day, it would have looked better had he took Machine Gun Kelly under his wings and worked with him and been a mentor towards him. And that's the sad part in hip hop and in the industry. You know, as people get older and they age and the music changes, the styles change and stuff like that, you have a lot of people who are stuck in their ways and they don't want to let go of that. They want to remain the king or the queen forever. And the thing is, nobody stays on top forever. At the end of the day, you have to make room for the next generation of rappers and next generation of actors and things like that and I think that it's not a good look what Eminem did to him because Machine Gun Kelly was not that disrespectful to his daughter I felt like he took that tweet and he ran with it and he's using that as an excuse to go at Machine Gun Kelly because he does not like the comparisons hell even the title of the song is called Not Alike so I feel like Eminem was feeling bothered because he did not want people comparing him and Machine Gun Kelly because he wants to be his own man and you know he wants his own props and he doesn't want people to see Eminem when they see Machine Gun Kelly so I think that's the true reason why Eminem went at him but in my personal opinion I have to give props to Machine Gun Kelly for basically taking it to the studio you know what I'm saying all these other rappers that he diss they're all on fucking Twitter sending out tweets you got Lil Pump being all scary and shit talking about he deserved it like really dude you know um, I think Tyler the creator he cussed Eminem out you know but for the most part all these other rappers they're just taking to Twitter they're just taking to Instagram they're not going to the studio Machine Gun Kelly was like, what, you want to call me out? Fuck that shit. I'm going to the studio. I'm coming up with a hot diss track and I'm going at you toe to toe. Now, granted, Eminem's song was probably harder to most people, but the fact that he had the boss to go at the so-called rap god, I had to give Machine Gun Kelly props for that. You know what I'm saying? Because you have black rappers who I know are straight fire ass lyricists who are too scared to go against Eminem per the videos I just showed y'all. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that this young white boy was like, you know what, fuck that shit. You want to be the rap guy? I'm about to be the rap devil, bitch, okay? So anyhow, like I told y'all, I'm here for all this fuckery. I'm here for all this beefing and back and forth because, again, I grew up in the damn 90s, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it was about. It was about lyricism. It was about, you know, rap beefs and who your favorite rapper was. It wasn't about everybody trying to kumbaya and be friends and shit like that. It was about who had the hottest bars at the time, who had the hottest lyrics. And I'm always happy when I see stuff like that because it brings it back to the real essence sense of hip-hop and I'm glad that Eminem caught all them people out you know what I'm saying and you know we know 90% of them are not going to respond so like I said that's why I give Machine Gun Kelly props for responding back to Eminem and saying I don't give a damn who you are at the end of the day you're a mere mortal just like I am you know what I'm saying nobody here is God over me and I'm gonna call you out the same way you caught me out so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Eminem dropping his album, Kamikaze. How are you guys feeling about the album? Are you guys feeling it? Are you guys liking his new style? How do you guys feel about all the songs that he dropped literally dissing like upwards of like 20 rappers, okay? He dissed so many rappers on this album. It was crazy. How do you guys feel about that? And then last but not least, how do you guys feel about Machine Gun Kelly's response to Eminem and him basically calling Eminem out? And then do you agree with me when I say that the reason why Eminem is mad at Machine Gun on Kelly is because of the comparisons because that tweet that he said about Haley was not that damn bad and I felt like Emin and I still feel like Eminem was trying to use any excuse to be mad at Machine Gun Kelly to distance himself from Machine Gun Kelly because he does not want Machine Gun Kelly possibly being his replacement so anyways y'all let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Nikki! <laughs> 
Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Tati.